Listen. All right. So, women just going to need to stop having baby. I mean, stop having babies. Actually, stop having sex with dudes, period. Stop having babies. Stop having sex with dudes. Just don't don't mess with them at all because, it's like, these dudes are so childish. It's like seeing everybody walk around with their baby mama and their baby daddy because it's child visitation week or they want to go shopping this one time a week or something like that. It's like humiliating. It's like women sitting up there. Women want to get married. And then dudes, they're just pretty much just laying around and then leaving and then coming back. It's like, what the hell is going on here? Why in the world? I just got done reading an article, right, about some guy who asked this girl what her favorite color was. And he got her some Reese's peanut butter cup and he got her some orange flowers right because she, she said her favorite color was orange and so he got her a little orange wrapping and then he put it together i said this bitch sound retarded it's like that's just that's the same shit you can do like in elementary it's like why the hell are you sitting up there 35 years old saying that this is the height of your gift that's the height of your gift is so some Reese's peanut butter cups and some orange or some orange roses and it's like that shit that's so dumb to me. Like, it just it just doesn't make sense. Like, I remember that this times guys have a crush on me and always waiting for me to say something, right? They're waiting for me to say something. It's like, oh, I wonder what she does. It's kind of like these jobs I work, right? They just seem like very um, they just seem like very crappy, right? But the jobs that are crappy are the ones that are most available. So I don't know if it's because the guys are crappy and so they're the ones that's most available. It looks to seem that way because they don't want to say a word to me. They want me to go up to them first. And now do they want me to talk to them once. They want me to talk to them three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times. They make them feel they make them feel, you know, enough comfortable enough for them to even ask me out, right? Um, that's sad. Uh I remember this one guy came around me so much that he actually made me feel like I was being violated. Like I'm not even kidding you. He would actually walk up and walk around me every day multiple times. To a point where I, I was actually feeling uncomfortable. I actually wanted to go and tell on um, to the supervisor because the supervisor even got annoyed herself. She's told him not to come up there anymore. That's how that's how annoying it was. But well, other people know this. Um, so anyway, that felt like to me that was just violent. You get to push your eyes on me, but then you don't want to do anything to actually get with me. No, man. Um, another time. You know. These dudes here, they don't do anything. I remember when I was a kid, right? This is this is very, very important. This actually changed, like, my whole entire outlook on, like, even dating, period. When I was 15 years old, right, and I was uh, in tennis, right, because I used to play tennis, and there was this girl, right? She was bigger than me. She was dark, and she was darker skinned. And that's very important to me because I don't see black girls. I didn't see black girls getting treated well at all. And she said that her boyfriend gave her flowers her boyfriend was giving her jewelry right jewelry because you know when you're playing tennis there's a lot of kids that got some money i mean they of course they get some they, you know they get a little hundred bucks from their mom and daddy right so they got some money but um and so i was like yo that is so cool she's she's getting this is what changed my outlook because i didn't see any black girls getting treated right um this changed my outlook and so when a guy kind of when it look like he want to ask me out or kind of staring at me every day and all that stuff like that and he doesn't do it it's like a huge letdown it's like oh my gosh this guy is not the person for me nah let's go to somebody else right and then the next guy does it he's not the person for me let's go to somebody else and then the next guy does it it's like you can't you can't just they're waiting for you to ask them out and it's like i'm not the type of person that will ask a guy out i mean come on it's like these dudes here some of these guys are like very, 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 very good looking, right? And it's like they're still terrified to even talk to somebody. I just don't understand. I remember when I was in elementary, Valentine's Day was red. They gave all of us red candies, right? It's cool. Now people 35, 40 years old and still doing the same thing. And women are basically so happy and so overjoyed because they don't get anything at all. I mean, how the hell you even, why are you even having sex with these guys if they're not giving you anything to show that they appreciate you? They're just wasting their time laying around as you're paying the bills for them to stay with you and as you're paying everything for them to eat and everything to do this. And then they're not doing anything but laying around you and being and smiling and having some nasty ass conversations or something like that. Like, that's just insulting because it's 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 actually within dudes' natures to be the providers, right? Women always want to like, nurture and all that stuff but guys need to provide how in the world this is the reason why dudes feel like 
when they give people 10 cents, they want it, they feel like they're giving a hundred dollars or something like that, I guess, because maybe, maybe because the women were like actually providing and nurturing their sons, and then their sons kind of grow up with no type of attribute to provide or nurture for anybody else. Uh, maybe they grew up with some type of nurturing or something like that, and I don't, I don't know, that don't even seem like nurturing to me, that seemed like just being a big ass child to me. But anyway, guys, bye.